How's it going, guys? Alright, here's my December video game pickups. Okay, this first game is from a new company called Red Art Games. They're similar, they're similar to like Limited Run Games and Strictly Limited Games and Special Reserve. They're doing limited physical releases of games on PS4 and PS Vita at the moment. They might be doing Switch later, I'm not sure yet. Okay, this is the first one I picked up from them. It's called Ice Cream Surfer, and it actually came with its own um, lollipop. Yeah. Anyway, um, this is the shoot 'em up that was originally released on the Wii, and it's been enhanced and improved. It looks like an interesting game, and I decided to pick this one up. Alright, I picked up Ori and the Blind Forest for Xbox One again. I don't have an Xbox One yet, guys. Don't get excited. The reason I'm picking this up is I'm noticing this physical edition is becoming a little more tricky to find, and whenever I do get an Xbox One, this is definitely one I'm planning to check out. I've heard nothing but great things about it. It looks great. And its sequel, which comes out later this year, is also looking pretty solid. So, yeah, that's why I decided to pick this one up. I picked up Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. This is one I've been keeping my eye on. It looks fantastic, and I've been really looking forward to finally trying this one. I picked up Override Mech City Brawl. This is basically a 3D arena fighter with uh, mechs, and you battle in like cities, and it actually has four-player local co-op, which is awesome, and there's even a mode where Four players can control one mech, which sounds crazy. Um, I thought this edition came with all the DLC, but apparently it's a season pass that comes in here that will include all the DLC later, but... Oh, well, at least it includes the season pass for the DLC. Anyway, this game looks fun. I'm really looking forward to trying this one, and I can't wait. I picked up Hellblades as soon as Sacrifice. I was hoping this would get a physical release. I've heard a lot of amazing things about it. And it does look really good, and I can't wait to finally try this one. Okay, on Boxing Day, I scored quite a few goodies, including Doom VFR, Bravo Team, The Persistence, and PlayStation VR Worlds, and uh, you guys can see I'm definitely um, going all in on VR, it's a pretty amazing experience, and these games all look pretty solid, and I can't wait to try each one. Alright, one last thing I picked up on Boxing Day was... Startling Battle for Atlas for the Switch. I was planning on getting this eventually because it comes with Star Fox, and I actually got this for a pretty solid price. And I mean, I don't have the Switch right now, but obviously Star Fox, I was planning on playing this later, but obviously I'm going to be playing the PlayStation 4 version first since I have a PlayStation 4, but I admit, getting to play this game with an R-Wing and with Fox McCloud sounds awesome, and I know there's some exclusive missions for Star Fox. And, yeah, once I get the Switch, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one. My significant other got me the Lance ship for Starling Bow for Atlas. I'm definitely going to try and go for a full set. It's going to take a little while. Um, looks pretty awesome, and I haven't had a chance to try Starlink yet, but definitely looking forward to taking it for a spin soon, especially with uh, this ship, which looks pretty solid. I picked up Fast Striker for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. I do have this on Dreamcast. It's a surprise. It's a really solid shoot 'em up, and I really like it. And all around, it's really fun. And when I found out it was coming to PlayStation 4 and Vita, I had to have it. And I believe there's still copies available on PlayAsia. And, and I will put my affiliate link down in the description, and I would recommend you guys check this one out. They really did a fantastic job with the artwork. It looks fantastic. Okay, last but not least, I finally picked up Matterfall. I, the reason I didn't get this right away is I was waiting for this North American physical edition that was supposed to happen, but it 
finally got cancelled. So I picked up this edition from Australia that actually has English text on the back. I think you guys can see that. Anyway, um, it looks like a pretty solid action platformer that has a lot of interesting mechanics and I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one. Alright guys, uh, this is my December video game haul. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.